we're going to talk about overbought and oversold. So I've got the RSI pulled up here. And you'll see why I don't like using the RSI. All right. I prefer the percent R. So most of the time, I'm probably going to use that instead of the RSI. Now, that doesn't mean that I didn't start off with the RSI. I did. But as you can see, this percent R is slightly more reactive, but the RSI is more, let's say, let's say it's uh, widely available, you know, across all of the platforms. Okay. So our moving average strategy we have here. Now, this is just the out-of-the-box strategy. We have not built a strategy with this yet. So let's just ignore that for now. That was from a previous video, and we will continue with that. But for now, overbought and oversold, okay? So when the stock is oversold, you know, they're just selling way too much of it, okay? You know, after that period is done with, all right, people start buying it back up, and you get a confirmation of, uh, you know, price action, and price goes up, and it gets validated out, okay? As we can see, it becomes overbought right here, okay? But yet still managed to run this far before it validates out and drops a little, okay? Now, this is the RSI, the Wilders RSI, okay? And there's Wilders, there's Williams, there's all kinds of different people who have created uh, indicators, but uh, Wilders will be one that you might see a lot in the indicator world. Okay. An important name. Now, see, it gets uh, overbought here on the RSI up here. All right. And, you know, this RSI shows no real action there. Now, pull this out to say, like, uh, the daily. That gives you uh, some okay readings, some, some good readings down here on the percent R. All right. But uh, let's say overbought, oversold, uh, and not, not real hard to see. Now, you can use your custom studies, but for now, stick to the ones that uh, Thinkorswim has. So... Let's see, percent R, you've got your Williams percent R, and there is also another percent R you may consider, or let's say RSI. Okay, Rocket RSI, SVE Stochastic RSI. Okay, add that, hit apply. Now you get these neat arrows that when a stock becomes, you know, when its uh, period of being overbought or oversold is over. So look just behind the arrows and you can see the periods of overbought and oversold, okay? You know, if it dips below the 20 and above the 80, below the 20 is, you know, way oversold and above the 80 is way overbought. And that does apply on the percent R, but I think for the Wilders RSI, it is 30 and 70. And that is the overbought and oversold. So as algorithmic traders, we can program for each one of these indicators, or you know, and many others like it, to buy when the stock is oversold and sell. Uh, you know, when it is uh, overbought. Or reaches a certain threshold, or you might even set up, say, a trailing stop loss that uh, trails your stock behind, just say, $1 um, or $5. Yeah, you know, that's possible. Now, with Tesla, you would get hit out with that $5, but uh, if you did a $5 trailing stop on Apple, You'd be okay. Apple does not seem to move, you know, intraday, you know, that much like that. Not very often. Let's 
see here lately, Palantir has moved uh, very steadily as well. All right. Now for overbought and oversold. Now just for another example, we do have, and we'll just pull up the Arun. Now I like the Arun indicator. But it also has overbought at 75 and 30. You know, is, uh, yeah, yeah, but you get it. So here we go. And so it looks like a rune down. Selling, 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 selling. So they're, and they're way overselling it. Okay, and here a uh, rune up. This is over, you know, overbought, oversold, oversold, you know, overbought. So, although the way this indicator reads, you can see, you know, it's a little different. So we'll get rid of that one for now. And let's get rid of these arrows, but they will come in handy later. Okay. Now still not much of the move here. Let's check out that apple. Okay, now we can see Apple. Let's see, going down, going down, going down, going down. Okay, we get a little confirmation above our moving average here. Price starts to come up a little bit. Looks like we are trying to hold some sort of support. Okay. It is above the 300 moving average. And there it still says it's sideways, though. But after having a... It's, it's had a little bit of a rundown from 145. You know, we hope for it to catch one of these channels that are long. You know, and I see how it caught this bottom channel here. Uh, you know, I guess that's just where it stopped, and that's the new channel. Okay, so we'll get into charting your channels and things like that and uh you know yeah we'll we'll get to that but overall your moving averages and looking at uh let's say here on the daily you know your rsi and your percent r you know being you know say overbought and oversold okay so if we buy when it's oversold and sell when it's overbought, we've got a pretty good chance as algorithmic traders in making money. Now with the RSI, it doesn't seem to work so well, so I don't do that. Uh, you know, I, That's why I would say probably from here on out and in the rest of the videos, I show the percent R instead of the RSI because the percent R is useful, or let's just say more useful to me for my trading and for how I intend to teach with it. So we'll go ahead and get rid of it now. And I mean, I even have other things to say about the RSI, but we'll say those in other videos. All right. So now we've changed over to a Renko bar setup, all right? Now you can see how this RSI can be used to make money, all right? Very good. So in our next video, we will be building your moving average strategy. You're going to have your first moving average strategy that you can have and hold in your Thinkorswim account and this percent 
are a strategy that you can have and hold in your Thinkorswim account. And the best part about it is you're going to build it. So you're going to love it even more. All right. Then you're going to feed it and you're going to pet it and it's going to grow into a big, huge bank account. All right. We will be living the dream. Here we go. So take a closer look. And we can use our uh, percentar in conjunction with, okay, your confirmation and your validation signals. All right. So until the next video, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, uh, come over to Patreon and support the channel and, you know, everything we have going on. And I will see you next time.